Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zot Beauty. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. We are almost at 800 subscribers. And if you are already an existing family member of the Crystal Crew, welcome back. I am so sorry I haven't made a video in five ever, but I promise it is for good reason. I have been dead sick for the past couple weeks because I am <gasps> ego my prego I am pregnant yes I am pregnant I am with child I am with moon child <laughs> so yeah I have been super nauseous I was actually diagnosed with something called hypermesis gravidervidum I don't know how to pronounce it um but basically it's very severe vomiting that can cause dehydration and also hospitalization and extreme weight loss within pregnancy i have lost 18 pounds since i have found out that i am pregnant just from how bad i haven't been able to eat or drink and just been bah, 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 all the time Ugh, it was horrible but i went to the doctor and got medication so it's getting better so today I'm going to be answering pregnancy tag questions because I'm sure people have questions and so I wrote them down and we're going to get started. So the first question is, how far along are you? I am just three months, just now three months, yes, and I look huge. Why? I don't know. His family keeps joking around about twins and triplets, but I am not feeling that energy. The second question is, what was the family's reaction? So, it was really good actually, on my side and his side. His side, they're uh, really excited, um, already buying baby clothes and all that. <laughs> um, my side of the family, they're really supportive, really loving towards me, and yeah, just Basically, you know, they know I'm an adult, so. Do you know the sex? Not yet, but I have a hunch that it is a girl. And I'll tell you why, because I've been reading lots and lots and lots of pregnancy forums. And they say that if you have severe vomiting, which I have been, it's more likely that you're having a girl because they have more HCG hormones in them that cause you to bleh, you know like projectile and um, my mom was dead sick when she was pregnant with me I was a girl my friend's mom was pregnant with her daughter and it was horrible but with her boys it was okay so I don't know I think it's a girl my psychic senses tell me that it's a girl and if it's not a girl then I'm a fraud <laughs> but <laughs> Uh, my boyfriend is dead convinced that it's a boy. His whole family thinks it's a boy. Um, I, I'm i okay if it is one. I just feel like I'd be able to relate more and like, you know, teach the beautiness to a girl. But I mean, whatever. So next question is, what gender do you want? Like I said, I really want a girl, but I would be super happy if I had a little prince as well. I am just hoping that they are healthy and beautiful and just happy. All right, uh, next question is, what is your biggest craving? Honestly, I haven't been having any like weird cravings that like, you know, you see on TV where like a pregnant woman's like, I want a peanut butter sandwich with like cheese, with like ice cream, with like crackers mixed with toast like I'm not having any cravings like that but what I would say is what I'm craving the most is fruits and vegetables like I'm always wanting cold fruit uh, specifically strawberries and blueberries um, I'm always craving fruit and vegetables and vegan meals I used to be vegan like a year ago and so that's what, how I know how the food tastes, but just like ever since I became pregnant, that's all I want to eat is just those fruits and veggies, uh, especially when they're nice and cold. Um, what's the best part about being pregnant? 
Um, the best part about being pregnant is that I'm carrying a new life inside of me. I, you know, like, it's the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Um, I feel ultimately blessed. I feel very excited. There's so many things I want to teach them. There's so many things about life that I want them to understand at an early age so they can have it easier than I had it. Um, there's just so much I'm so excited to experience with them, like their first walk and their first everything. And I'm definitely gonna be a scrapbooker. That is me. I am a memorabilia type woman. But um, also I feel like it's made me and James really close as well. Um, we were already incredibly close, like I said in my last video I did with him. We like married each other through like a sacred union crystal exchange energy type situation with our souls through god so we were already like this but now that i'm pregnant like how he helps me around the house when i can't get out of bed and i throw up all over next to him and i'm all gross looking and he still calls me the most beautiful girl he's ever seen and he's just so supportive and whenever I want something like random bananas or something he'll go to the store and get it for me and you know he's just he's the best he's the best so yeah I definitely think us being a family is the best part that's what I'm most looking forward to the most is uh, experiencing that mom dad and baby relationship that I so really wanted for my own childhood but didn't get to have because my father died at a young age so I'm just really happy that I get to relive that through my own experience um let's see next question what's the worst part about being pregnant oh <laughs> oh damn near everything girl being pregnant is no joke it's no joke i have been in so much pain i have been throwing up every 30 minutes to an hour until i started taking my medication after i was hospitalized and was fed through an iv because that was how dehydrated and low in potassium i was that they had to feed me through a through an iv fluid <sighs> oh my god it's it's been a it's it's been a journey um my hormones they're everywhere i'm <laughs> Like, I'm already a Gemini, you know what I'm saying? Like, my my soul is already, ha ha, you know what I'm saying? So being pregnant has definitely made me, you know, crazy. Like, I I don't know. Um, what else is wrong with being pregnant? Um, oh yeah, almost everything makes me uncomfortable. I can't lay a certain way or else I'm uncomfortable. Like, I can't lay on my stomach, I can't lay on my back without feeling like I'm like, Ugh. Like, so I have to lay on my side, but then my side isn't comfortable because I like to lay on my belly. I toss and turn. It's hard to sleep. Brushing my teeth in the morning triggers me. Ugh. The smell of my boyfriend after he gets off work. Oh my god, the smells. My sense of smell is so high and so annoying. I smell everything and it, everything offends me. <laughs> everything that smells horrible offends me like when my man gets off work I used to be like mm, you smell sexy all that must you a real man mm. now when I smell I'm like oh get away from me take a shower oh. like ugh, it's just it'll make me nauseous and sometimes I'll throw up <laughs> and like he thinks I'm being dramatic but I'm being so for real like it's just like uh, my libido is low sorry family if you're watching this but my libido is low james is suffering but i just don't feel good all the time you know <sighs> let me not go too long i want you guys to be excited still but i mean it's no joke okay <laughs> it's a it's like being pregnant the best way i can describe it for my personal experience is having the flu and being hung over at the same time that's the best way i could describe it all right next question birth plan i don't have a birth plan yet but i have been watching lots of pregnancy videos on youtube and i am grabbing ideas from different people and i will be assembling my own birth plan on a computer and then laminating it and hanging it in my hospital room so yes coming soon 
Um, next question. Are you going to film it? I'm obviously not going to film like my coochie coo, but I will film parts of it like me going to the hospital, stuff like that. These are all upcoming videos that are going to be on YouTube. I'm documenting. Oh my God. Okay. I'm starting to feel sick right now. Hold on. I'm going to be documenting this whole entire pregnancy experience on my YouTube channel. So if you want to stick around and see what happens and all that good stuff, subscribe. <laughs> but uh, yes, I will be filming lots of aspects and yeah, I'll be letting you into my life. Um, let's see. Are you scared about labor? Yes, I am scared. Like, <laughs> like, I've always wanted to be a mother. Like, instinctually, I feel like I've just always had that nurturing, you know, vibe about me that I'm a mom. You know what I mean? But, like, I was always scared of being pregnant because I was so scared of being cut open. One, like, if I have to get a C section. Or two, my vagina ripping to my butthole. Because that is what happened to my mother when she had me. And she had to have it stitched up. And I'm just like, no, no, please, no, no. So I am, I am scared of surgery and I am scared of me having one big crack. So yeah, but I mean, it's worth it. Uh, next question is, are you going to breastfeed? I am going to breastfeed my baby. I have done research on breastfeeding. There are lots of benefits. It helps with the bond between the mother and the child and also helps for brain development and all that good stuff and certain nutrients that are in the mother's body that you cannot recreate outside of it. Just needs to go to the baby. I think it's really important and I, I swear it tastes better than formula probably does and I just want to give my baby all the sweet juice, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, so I'm going to try to breastfeed for a year and that is my goal. Um, next question is, do you plan to work or be a stay at home mom? So for me, I feel like it is super, super, super important for me to be there for my child a hundred percent of the time, at least during the very important stages of their growth. So I'm not planning on trying to work at least not outside of the house where I can't be with my kid because who else is gonna watch them it's my responsibility that's my baby I want to take care of them and honestly I don't trust anybody really yeah I just feel like it would be more beneficial for our closeness as a bond that I stay with them until they're ready to go off to school and then when they start going off to school I would have a part-time job that is my goal and I should be famous by then anyways, so, no. <laughs> but, yeah. I have, I'm manifesting a lot of stuff in my life, so I might just manifest a life where I won't have to go to work and I can make money at home and be with my kid and share my experiences, and that's the goal. Alright, the next question is, will you make your own baby food? Yes, I want to make my own baby food. I have a Nutribullet and I have already looked up baby recipes for baby food for when they're ready to stop eating um, breast milk. <laughs> and the next question is, do you have any nursery ideas? So because I don't know the sex yet, I don't have any nursery ideas, but I'm actually thinking whether it's a boy or a girl, I'm thinking of going with like a space theme because that's just, I just really love planets and stars and you know, the mystical world, obviously. I mean, hello, it's Zot Beauty's channel. But yeah, um, I'm thinking moon and sun. Yeah, probably gonna be a hippie baby room. Yeah, cause we're a hippie couple, so it's only fitting. 
All right, well, those are all the questions that I have for you guys today. If you like this video, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. If you liked me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to stay tuned on this journey of my law of attraction, of my manifestation, of my psychicness, of my up and coming baby, please hit that notification bell. That way you get notified right away when I drop videos straight on the tube. Thank you so much for watching everybody and I'm a